Hi and welcome. My name is Kat. Today I'm taking you through a quick full body Pilates base workout using a foam roller. So grab your foam roller, grab your mat, and we're going to start in a four point kneeling position with our knees hip width and our hands on the foam roller in line with our shoulders. Pressing down into your foam roller here so that your shoulder blades are nice and straight, flat on your thoracic spine. Engaging your abdominal muscles here by gently pulling in your belt button. We're going to inhale here and as we exhale, we're going to tuck our tailbone without rolling the foam roller. You're going to round your spine, drop your head. Inhale, come back to neutral, lengthen the spine. And again, exhale, tuck the tailbone and round. Two more times. Inhale, we'll let the length from the tailbone. As you exhale, tuck the tailbone round, pressing down into that roller. And lengthen just one more. We're going to keep the rounding of the spine on this next one. So tucking, rolling, drop the head from here without, again, rolling the foam roller away. You're going to push your hips down and then come back up and lengthen. And again, tuck. Keep the rounding of the spine, push back, sit onto your heels, come back up to tabletop, and lengthen. One more, tuck, sit back, come up, and lengthen. From here, you're going to drop down onto your elbows, forearms rather, and you're going to push the foam roller out just a few inches, and as you pull it back in, again, tuck the tailbone round, pull it in, and again, reach it out and exhale, pull it in, and just one more like this, and pull it in, and sit back, reach the foam roller all the way out, take a shell stretch, and we're going to come onto our back with the foam roller underneath our sacrum, so you're going to lift your hips, shoulder blades are down, the foam roller is resting directly underneath the sacrum here. Your arms can be either down by your sides, elbows can be bent, or more advanced variation, your arms are going to reach up towards the ceiling. You're going to tuck your tailbone here to keep a imprint spine. Reach one leg up to the tabletop and the other leg comes up. Reaching both legs up towards the ceiling, you're going to flex the feet, lower the legs about halfway down, not more, and then point and reach them up. And again, we've got four and three and two, last one, and release, bend both knees down, take one foot down, other foot comes down, lift your hips, push the foam roller out underneath your feet, starting with your legs hip width, arms can be by your side here, lift your hips up, rolling your spine up, one bone at a time, from here you're going to pulse the foam roller out in five, four, three, two, and one, pull it in, roll it down. And again, we lift. Once we're up, we stay and we pulse out. Four, three, two, and one, pull it in, roll it down. And one more time, lift up, pulse it out. Five, four, three, two, and one, and roll it all the way down. Reach the foam roller all the way out. Take your hands behind your head. Lift your head, shoulders, scapula off the mat. From here, pick up your right knee to tabletop. You're going to reach the right leg out, pull the foam roller in, and switch. And in, and in. Two more. Last one. And hold it here. Left leg is straight. Right knee is bent. Pulse your chest. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, reach the right leg out, drop it down, reach your arms behind you. You're going to roll it all the way up, taking your chest over your legs and roll it back all the way down, hands behind your head. This time it's your left leg that comes to tabletop, lift the chest, bicycle the legs, in and reach, and two, and three, four, and five, keeping the left knee bent, right leg straight, pulse 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reach the leg, lower down, reach your arms behind you and roll it all the way up. And we're not gonna roll it back down. 
down, keep the foam roller where it is, out in front of you, and we're gonna come laying down on our bellies with our legs in turnout, roughly hip width. You're gonna have your hands in cobra position here, so figure 11 with the arms, your palms are resting on the foam roller, neck is nice and long, we're supporting the head, so we're not placing the head down, our head's lifted, upper back is straight. You're going to take an inhalation and as you exhale, you're going to press into your foam roller, reach it out in front of you, and then bend the elbows, come down. Tap your elbows and again we lift. As you exhale, inhale, you come down. And again, keeping those arms parallel, keeping the neck nice and long, and down. Just one more, we're going to stay up on this next one, and then you're going to roll the foam roller in, keeping your elbows lifted, and push it out, and four, and three, and two, and one, good, bend the elbows, and come all the way down, reach your arms out in front of you, you're going to place your hands on the outside edges of the foam roller, you're going to bend your knees here, take your heels glued together. From here, just the legs, squeeze the heels, you're going to lift your thighs up. From here, we're going to lift the foam roller up, and then everything comes down. Starting just the legs, squeeze the heels, lift the thighs off, lift the chest, everything comes down. Three more times. Squeeze the heels, lift the legs, chest, and down, two more. Squeeze the heels, the legs rise, chest goes up, everything comes down, one more time, heels, lift the thighs, chest, and everything comes down, release the foam roller, press yourselves up, you can take a shell stretch here, sitting on your heels, and we are going to place this time the foam roller underneath our shins, and our hands on the mat, keeping your back nice and straight. Again, you're engaging through that core, pushing through your hands here, and we're gonna lift the knees so that our uh, shins are parallel to the floor, our toes are untucked. From here, you're gonna pull your right knee in towards your chest, keeping a straight spine, and then take it back, and left side, pull it in, and back, eight more, eight, and seven, Six, keep pushing through your hands here to keep a nice straight chest. And four, three, two, and one. Both shins down, take your knees down. You're gonna scoot over so that the tops of your feet are resting on the foam roller. You're gonna come up to a kneeling position. Inhale, reach your arms up. You're gonna open your chest, twist towards the right, reach behind you for your foot, the foam roller, or even the mat. Come back up. Once in center, you're gonna bring your hips back, round your chest forward, and lengthen up, and we go to the left. Twist to the left, come back up, round and center. One more time each side, grow tall. Twist, reach for the back, up, Flex front, one more time to the left, lengthen first, twist reach, center and flex to the front, good, and taking your hands back down, coming back to foam roller underneath your shins. Again, when you're ready, lift those knees off the mat. Similar exercise, we're just adding. When the right knee comes in, you're going to bring your forehead to your leg, from here, lengthen your spine, reach the leg behind you, tap the floor, lift, place it down. Left leg, pull it in, round the spine. Lengthen, reach all the way back, tap, and take it down. Right side, pull, round. Reach and lengthen, tap, lift, take it down. Left side, round. Lengthen, tap, lift, and down. One more time, each side. Reach, and down, left side, and reach, tap, lift, and down. Good job, take your knees down, quick shell stretch here. And we're gonna 
come back onto our backs. Again, the foam roller is going to be underneath our feet. This time we're going to have heels together, toes apart. So your heels are glued together, the toes and the knees slightly turn out. Don't go too wide in your turnout. Arms can be again by your side. Roll your hips up. Once you're up, you pulse it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it in, roll it down. And again, come in, up, push it out, two, three, four, five, roll it down. And three more, lift up. We pulse out, three, two, one, roll it down. And again, lift up, pulse it out, four, three, two, one, roll it down. One more time here, lift up and pulse five four three two one and roll it all the way down take your legs back to parallel they can be hip width here we're going to do a little bit more of a progression from that exercise that we did now and before so starting with your heels parallel hip width you're going to roll your hips all the way up from here you're going to Push the foam roller out in front of you, trying to keep your hips lifted as much as possible. And then from here, lower the hips down and pull it back in. And again, lift the hips. Keeping the hips lifted as we push the foam roller out, lower the hips, and then come in. One more this time, this way. Lifting the hips up. Push the foam roller out, control it. Hips come down, pull it in. Switch to the tops of your toes, the balls of your feet. So you're lifting your heels. The toes are on the foam roller this time. Similar exercise. Tuck, lift. It's gonna be a little bit different here. You're going to start to push the foam roller out. You're passing through your foot. From here, lift the toes so you're on the heels and then slow it way down. We're not gonna lower the hips. You're gonna reverse it, pull it in, passing through your foot. Picking up your heels, you're on the balls of your feet and lowering it all the way down. And again, here we go. We're on the balls of the feet, the heels are lifted. Inhale, exhale, you lift. Pass through the sole of the foot, heels down, toes up, push it out. Pull it back in through the heels, sole of the foot, up onto your tippy toes, roll it down. We've got just one more here. Inhale to prepare, exhale, go up. Push it out. Pull it back in, tops of your toes, and release it all the way down. Good job. You can stretch out your legs here. We're going to take the foam roller this time into our hands. We're going to place it behind our neck. So as we were holding it before when we were on our bellies, hands on the edges of the foam roller, but this time you're supporting your neck. Feet are flat on the ground. You're gonna inhale here, and as you exhale, lift head, shoulders, scapula off the mat. Staying lifted here, you're gonna do a tiny twist to the right and left, tapping your elbow down and down. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come all the way down. Remove the foam roller, still holding it onto the edges here towards the ceiling. Lift your hips up. Keeping the foam roller in place, you're going to pick up your right knee. Come to tap the foam roller and down, other side. And down. Don't move the foam roller so it's not the arms that go towards the legs. It's the legs that come towards the foam roller. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one. Both feet down, lower back all the way down. Inhale here, as you exhale, you're gonna lift up, roll. Take the foam roller out in front of you, over your feet. From here, reach it all the way up. Keep your spine straight, twist your body to the right, and center, and twist to the left. Come in center, round front. Lengthen, and again, twist right, exhale, and left. Round front, two more times, lengthen first. Twist to the right, and twist to the left. 
round front, last one here, lengthen up, twist right, twist left, and go front, good job, place the foam roller back down, again into our kneeling position, hands will be on the foam roller, in line with your shoulders, your legs are going to be hip width, tuck your toes, pick up your knees, come to plank position, you're going to do similar uh, concept as before on the mat, taking your knee towards the foam roller, reach it back, other side, and back, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, reach it back from here, hips come up, keep the foam roller down, stretch it out, Come back to that plank position. This time, take your right knee all the way down. Untuck your left toes here. Sit back. Pushing down into the foam roller here to get into your spine. Opening through the left thigh. Tuck the left toes. Good. Come back to your plank. Pick up your right leg. Reach it back. Left knee comes in. Untuck the right toes. Lengthen. Push down into the foam roller. and release good job we're going to come standing you're going to place your foam roller in an upright position and we're going to have our legs hip width both hands resting on your foam roller here we're going to do a few rounds of calf stretching here round the spine and lengthen and again round and lengthen round and lengthen adding some fluidity and lengthen three more and two, and one, good, come back up, take your legs to turn up position, your heels can be on the heat on the mat, your uh, toes can be off the mat, you're going to bend your knees, sit as low as you can, pushing the foam roller out in front of you, and come back up, and again, down, you've got eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come up, come back down to kneeling. Take the foam roller again in your hands, one hand on either side. Reach the foam roller all the way up. You're going to hinge to the right side. Circle it out all the way out in front of you, coming up to the left and back up to center, going to the left, hinge sideways, round it out down in front of you, coming up to the right, and back up to center, take it down now all the way out in front of you, roll it down, place it onto the floor, reach it out in front of you, take your forearms down, coming back into a plank position, holding it here, we're going to pulse it out, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, five, four, three, two, one, good job, knees come down, sit back quickly, foam roller goes again underneath the tops of your feet, so push it all the way back, we're going to come to plank position on our forearms, lifting the knees up, pulling the, the foam roller in, ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one, and knees down. Good. Take your knees wide, toes together, sit back, and final little bit here. You're going to come again on your back with the foam roller underneath your sacrum. So coming all the way down, foam roller on that sacrum, the big flat bone at the base of your spine. You're going to reach your left leg out, pull your right knee in, thigh towards your chest, and we're going to just pulse it in. Three, four, and five. Reach it out in front, reach your arms behind you, pull the left leg in, pulse it towards your chest. Ten. Nine, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Reach the leg out in front, arms behind you. Give yourselves a nice stretch. Bend your knees, pick up your hips. One more time, push the foam roller all the way out in front of you so that your ankles are resting on it. You can have your legs together, reach your arms behind you, and slowly, slowly roll it all the way up, flexing over your legs, and sitting upright, and that's it, you guys. Quick full body foam roller workout. I hope you enjoyed it, I'm sweating. It's super hot over here. Uh, please do like, share, subscribe, and be sure to follow my Instagram account. I post a lot of uh, Pilates and health-related content there, and, and I ask for a lot of feedback, and I do polls on what types of classes you guys like to see. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, please be sure to check it out. Same account, Pilates with Amu. Thank you again for joining me. Take care, and aloha.